been a while since I've popped in like that. These days I'm traveling more conventionally, flying into cities to perform Woman of the Year, or walking onto the set to shoot Chattanooga Choo Choo. But in the late 1960s, I got around a little bit differently. Oh, Master Flynn, you remember that? One of the lighthearted and more popular sitcoms of the 60s involved a beautiful genie and her master, an American astronaut. The NBC hit ran for five seasons, and my co-star was Larry Hagman. The time was right for them. The climate of, of the people, the, the climate of, of the, the viewing audience was, was right for them. The times were probably right. The country was in the throes of an unpopular war and domestic unrest. But Jeannie was pure fantasy. Open the window. Hey, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought we agreed that uh, we weren't going to give each other any elaborate Open gifts. Open the window. Now, if you picked up a car or anything, I'll never forgive you for that. Along with myself and Larry, the show also starred Bill Daly, the girl-hungry astronaut, and Hayden Rourke as the disbelieving NASA psychiatrist. All the scripts were very, very severely scrutinized uh, by Cape Canaveral and by the Air Force. Number one, not to make me look like an idiot, a uh, psychiatrist, and not to be offensive. And on the other hand, most of all, to appeal to the family theater that they were going to. Oh, I did not move die for Paul, Although minor, the show was not without some controversy. It seems that the NBC censors were concerned about my skimpy genie costume. I like to think of it as navel gate. It bordered on the fact that somebody might be offended that if the navel was shown with this extraordinary body in this very exotic genie costume, so they compromised by having it just a sixteenth of an inch above. And that's a trick holding it on, too, you know. Did uh, Tony tell you I was sitting in for the night? Well, he is my master. I, I must do as he says. I miss that style of freedom. Uh, I miss the uh, doing film, and I miss working with creative people. And I don't think you can uh, work that way in a series where two of the people, like Larry and I, can just get together and get in and create things while the camera stands around and then shoot them. Uh, you have to come in and uh, everything's planned, and you walk in, you walk from here to there and here, and we're going to do it, and they roll the film. So today, I don't think it would work that way. Because those things we all did on Drew, we just didn't spot Larry and I. All those sticks we just made up. <laughs> Dream of Genie finished its network run in 1970, but the fantasies continue to work their magic in reruns throughout the world. And that's 60s sitcoms. Thanks for joining me all month long. Oh, I'm Barbara Eden.